I hope so. And if you're not aware of the 30 day challenge, starting today, if you do my workouts five days a week, which they're only about 10 minutes each, on February 11th, I'm gonna draw a name from this hat. And if you emailed me already, you're going to have your name on one of these tickets. If you haven't, make sure you email me today so I can put you in the drawing. So yes, I'm gonna have a prize and a drawing on February 11th. Now, if your name doesn't get picked, hey, guess what happens in 30 days? You're gonna be stronger, have more endurance, and feel healthier, and a great way to start that new year. So I'm so glad you're here to join me. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Dawn, and the name of this channel is New Day Dawning. The purpose of this channel is to empower Christian women to build stronger minds and bodies. This channel will have exercise, nutrition tips, and mindset. So make sure you subscribe below if you haven't, hit that notification bell so all the latest content and exercises come your way, and share this with friends and family, and also follow me on Facebook. So, I'm so glad you're part of this challenge. For those of you that are new, and you saw me on Gently Led Sisters, and this is your first workout, I recommend that you go to my very first video that I uploaded, my workout, um, beginning Pilates video, because that's gonna show you all the terms I use, the different breathing, it's gonna take it a little slower, and it's just a great way to be introduced. Another thing I want to add, that you can pull out any videos you want for the challenge. Um, you can do my new weekly videos I upload or pick videos that I had in the past. You know, they're all for your taking. So I'm so excited for you ladies, so let's get started. All right, ladies, let's begin. Let's go ahead and center ourselves on our mat. Peeling that head and shoulders up off the mat. Let's start pumping those arms. And then let's go ahead and bring those legs up to tabletop. Remember, if anything's too much, you can always take that head and bring it back. Now for a little more of a challenge, you can bring those legs, extend them out. Now if this feels like it's too much, but you still want to bring those legs out, you want to have a little more of a challenge, you can bring them up higher. This is actually easier. For a little bit more, you bring them down. So let's inhale for two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, and inhale. And exhale, leaving those fingertips long. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, getting that circulatory system going. And inhale. And exhale. Nice work. So let's go ahead and bring everything in, bringing that head back, rocking it side to side. And now we're going to go ahead and do a roll like a ball. Our five on right. So let's bring our hands, put them underneath, roll up, and then we're going to take our hands, put them on the side, put our toes to the end of our mat. We're going to pick up our seat, bring it close to our heels. And we're going to take our arms, put them underneath our knees. And then we're going to take our nose to navel. And with control, we are going to roll back. Make sure you have plenty of room behind you. And just keep that C curve in your neck and roll back, keeping those feet hovered. Let's do three more of these. Three, two, it's a great way to massage the spine. And one more. Nice work. Nice and controlled. And if you feel that it feels a little strange at first and a little uncomfortable, no worries. We're going to go into our single leg stretch. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hand, put it on my ankle, and take my other hand and put it on the shin up here. If it feels like it's hard for you to coordinate where to put your hand, you can just put them anywhere on your shins for now. So let's go ahead and pull in. And then let's pull into the single leg stretch. Nice work. And now let's take an inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, you're doing beautiful, exhale, it's going to be a fun challenge, I'm wondering who's the winner's going to be, inhale, and exhale, bringing it all in with ease, and then resting that head back, we're going to do that stretch, just rock that head side to side, and now for double leg stretch, we're going to extend those arms out, and then let's extend our legs out, and then bring everything in, and extend out, and in, out, and in, keeping those abs scooped nice and tight. We're drawing everything in. Let's inhale on the out. Exhale, squeeze all that air up. Inhale, exhale, three more. Three, two, and then let's do one more. And let's hold it. And now let's gently bring it together. Nice job. Now let's extend our body straight. 
centering ourselves on the mat. This just takes a little more effort. Now, you can roll yourself up like this, peel yourself up, we're gonna do saw. If that feels like it's too much, you can always bend your knees and just rock yourself up. All right, so saw, we're gonna extend our legs, we're gonna open them up a little wider than the mat. We're gonna take our arms, put them in that T-shaped fingertips on the peripheral, and we're gonna go ahead and twist bringing this arm up and behind, taking that pinky and bringing it to a pinky toe, and then we're gonna switch and do it on the other side. Now let's add a little count and a little deep stretch. Two, three, hold, then up nice and tall when we're twisting, and then two, three, hold, nice. Keeping both hips on the mat when you're doing this too, that's also another challenge that makes it a little harder, but remember, we want to get stronger. We want to improve our balance, improve our flexibility. And then let's do one more. And keep it here. And then bring it up and bring everything together. Nice job. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on our bellies. We're going to do swan. So laying down, putting our hands on the side of us. Or Elbows are up tall, taking that head, putting our forehead on that mat, and we're just going to bring everything up and hold, and now we're just going to press a little bit, push up, but not too high, and hold it here. Nice job, and bring everything down with control. Three more. Three, bring head, heart, hand up, push gently, hold, and down. And remember, you're scooping those abs through this. Again, head, hands, heart, up. Press gently, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. You know what, let's just do one more. Bring everything up, press, hold, five, four, three, two, and one. You have this, and bring it down with control. Nice work. Let's do our double leg kick from here. So, you can leave your arms out to the side if you want, and the exercise is gonna look like this, where we kick in, and we bring everything up. We're gonna bring our feet up this time. But, if you're flexible, and you're able to do it, you can just take your hand, open one hand, and grab four fingers to the other, placing your elbows on the mat, and then kick up this way. And then extend everything up. All right? So whatever you're able to do, it's fine. You're still doing a great workout. So let's kick in for one, two and everything up and switch that cheek to the other side one two everything up bring it down with control one two up hold for five four three two one down with control one two everything up and now let's bring it all down with control. Nice job. Let's put our hands to our side. We get to do a stretch. So let's go ahead and push back. Nice work. Louise, we're doing great. Press those arms into the mat. Keep those abs scooped. It's an active stretch here. And now we're gonna go onto our backs and we're gonna do bridge. Our shoulder bridge. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our arms close to our sides. Lying down, center yourselves on the mat. And then we're gonna bring those heels, just brushing the tips of our heels. And now we're going to lift our bottom. So we're gonna start with just curling that tailbone, middle and upper back. And now we're gonna bring the upper, middle and lower down. Again, tailbone, middle, upper, hold, squeeze everything. Go ahead and squeeze your legs and your glutes. Also, you want to scoop those abs and press into the mat so you're working everything here. Now bring it down with control. And then again, let's bring everything up, your tailbone, your middle, and upper. And now let's go ahead and bring balance on your left. Bring that right leg just up a little bit. And if you can't do that, that's okay. You can just stay in this position. And anytime you need to come down in between, you know that's okay too. Now let's go ahead and bring the other leg up. Good, nice work. Let's go ahead and bring it up a little higher and switch. And switch. Now if you want more of a challenge, you can keep it here and walk it, or you can bring one leg extended. 
and then dab with ease, and then another leg and extend, and dab with ease, and then bring everything up, squeeze it for five, four, and the strong, three, two, one, and bring it all down, top, middle, and lower with control. Nice job, let's bring those knees in, and let's just go ahead and rock that head side to side. Let's roll everything up. And then let's just do a little bit of a stretch. I'm gonna take that right leg over my left, and I'm just going to push my arm into that thigh, and I'm just gonna turn for three, two, one. And now let's go ahead and switch sides. It's good to get a little stretch in between. For three, two, and one. Great work. Now for the finale, let's go ahead and do our push-up prep. So let's go ahead and stand up from our mat and let's just roll up slowly from our mat. And I know you can't see me here, but what we're gonna do is just walk down on our mat for four, three, two, and one, and keeping those arms under our shoulders, okay? We're just holding it here in a plank. This time we're gonna add a little something new. We're gonna do a side plank. So if you, a side plank looks like this, you can keep it there and you bring it up. If this is too much for you, you know you can always go to your knees and bring it up that way. And then bring it this way too, okay? So I know you're holding, holding. If you need to come to your knees, if you're able to stay up as I was talking, bring it up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then switch your sides and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then let's go ahead and bring it on our forearms. Let's hold here. And then let's bring it up. And then let's bring it back down. And then let's bring it back up on the opposite arm and just hold it here. And let's just do two push-ups while we're at it. One. And these are a little hard. These are working triceps, depending. Two. Where you place your arms, that's what's gonna factor that you're working more of your chest or your arms. So we're gonna hold our plank here. And let's bring it up for Four, three, two, and one, and hold it, okay? And I'm standing up with you. And now what I'm doing, I'm putting my heels together, I'm standing on my toes, and I'm bringing everything up. I'm inhaling and bringing it down, exhaling. Let's do that again, I know it takes a little balance. Inhale. And exhale all of it out. Nice work, keeping that proud chest. You're a little leaner, you're a little stronger, you're really ready to conquer that day, and you're in that 30-day challenge. I'm so proud of you. So let's keep on keeping on. Keep your comments below. Let me know how you're doing with this 30-day challenge, how it's going, how well you're sticking to it. I love to hear your feedback and just, you know, just that communication so we keep each other going. All right, ladies, well, I can't wait for you to continue on with this workout, and I'm also gonna have a new workout for you next week and a new talk, and if you haven't seen my talk yet, it's about how to conquer those 2020 resolutions that you have. In the past, I know maybe you fell short a little bit in 2019 and 18 and 17, but you know what, 2020 is a new year, and this time I actually have really clear strategies for you to conquer all your New Year's resolutions. So if you haven't seen that video yet, that's on the link below, make sure you watch that. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, hit that notification bell so you can have the newest content come your way, and I will see you again for another workout.